Hello techies! Welcome to our brand new video series focused on helping you get the most of your experiences in life. Before we start the video, let's know about Uptalk. Uptalk is a live, interactive platform for software training, furnishing robust personalities who could take on universal business platforms. Because that is what the allowance eligibility rule was designed. But when we hired for a different management level, like manager, although the compensation grade etc. was the same, the allowance did not default because it did not satisfy the eligibility criteria. Okay. So now let's quickly debug the one which one of you faced is. So let's, let me, let me first go to your compensation package. Okay. So we'll start there. So let's go and edit your compensation package. So we should start talk down. Okay, we will look at the compensation package. Then we will see, um yeah, whether things are so it is NDD. Yeah, okay, XYZ. Compensation package. Correct. Let's go there and see. So you are saying all employees of XYZ Motors is your eligibility rule, and the rule condition says organization and superior organization and XYZ Motors. Perfect. Then we are looking at a management. Okay, this is a compensation grade. So you are saying this is management in USA and UK. Okay, great profile. Ah, uh, that's correct. You don't have any eligibility rule in the compensation grade, right? You did not put anything there. Yeah, that's correct. No problem. Let's go to your compensation plans. Okay, in your compensation plan, you have an eligibility rule which says XYZ management car allowance and a... Uh, the salary plan says all employees of XYZ Motors. Correct. So in the car allowance, let's look at it. So this is your um eligibility rule for your car allowance. I am guessing that what happened was there was a mismatch in the oh my god, how many management levels there are. So many sides selling to everything. That's that's that might be the cause of the problem. Okay. Anyway, so you have a lot of, you have a bunch of managers, you have, uh, the chief executive manager, supervisor, okay, 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 so, and you have the organization and superior organization as XYZ Motors. Okay, looks okay. So now what happened? So now, when you hired it was, it was not working. Yeah. Only the allowance plan isn't defaulting. Okay, so let's try to hire someone quickly in your organization. So, um, okay, let's go. Let's navigate to your organization there. So this is all executive vice presidents. I don't need this. So let's go to your supervisory organization. And where were you trying to hire an executive in sales? Sales and sales. All right, and sales group Chloe Tuck is there already. Let's try to hire one more worker. So can you once go to staffing Gresh? I have already initiated it, that's fine. I'll hire one more worker. Yeah, so Lion Horse was being hired. Okay, no problem. So let me hire one more and see what is happening. So we go to hire, hire employee, and we create a new pre-hire, and we call it as MDD test worker. Uh, work, not workers. Okay, now can I use a job profile? Yeah, oh, it's already there.
no problem. So 28 and point like this. Regular time time is full time, okay, and Andy T. Hichikago, all right. So the only thing I am worried about is this particular thing like the job profile. Okay, let's see. So your package defaulted whispery, defaulted great, defaulted salary is there? Allowance is there. How come I didn't get it yesterday? That's what happens. That's what happens. I went to the doctor the other day, and I was for my son. I said that he is cough and cold, and when I went to the doctor for 30 minutes, he did not cough, or I mean he did he had. He showed no signs of cough and cold and the doctor was asking, what happened? Why do you even come? That's, that's how it always does, right? You, you go to the I mean doctor or the mechanic, and it suddenly the symptoms disappear. Okay, yeah, so it works, no problem. Try, try one more time. Let's fill out the hire for Olam has. Okay, just cancel it out. Let me show you how to do that. So you have the Liam has already. So you don't need to create the hire one more time. Or, or I would say, create a pre-hire because you created with the name Liam has. Create MDD Liam has. Okay, do not, do not use the Liam has the generic name because other people would also use it. Okay, I will just cancel this out. I'll cancel this out. Create the pre-hire one more time NBD Liam has, and then continue with the hand. Okay. Yeah, yeah, Chris, I have a question. It's like when we are hiring a person, so definitely we require pre-hire, but do we require a background check as well, when, every time when we hire a person? Okay. So let's say okay. Okay, let's say, even though it's like it's integrated with any other system, and when we are sending the data, uh, so I mean it's, is it a rule that we need to make for other? I mean, we required background check, or it's not necessary at all. Depends on the organization, and how you design your business process. Now, if let's say if, if you are operating in an area where I mean operating in an industry where background check is mandatory and your organization has to have background checks for each and every person that you are going to hire. Yes, we will put that in our hire business process. Okay, and then we will, or maybe even in the recruitment business process, after the screening, after the interview, we will initiate the background check. Yeah, and there, and there will be no option to skip it. Right, so we will. So I mean it is very common for organizations to, I mean to have what to say, uh, an integration or an agreement with a background verification company. Very common in us is higher right. Right. And then we have DISA, we are STIR, we are Sterling. These companies provide background verification services. So what happens is, after you do your interviews and etc., we trigger an integration for the background check vendor. So they will get information like SSN and your phone number, email address, and so on. And they will initiate the background check verification on their end. And after they have the results, after the background check is complete, whatever is the result, they will send back the result right, and we will take the take the result and update the background check process. So the recruitment coordinator, or whoever is doing the background check process, they will review the results, and if it is okay, if it is acceptable, they will say, background check cleared, okay. So here also, yeah, I mean here also, you know, in our application, do we need to make any, any sort of an approval or anything? I know we will do that. We will, 
we will add those things once we are able to, once we start talking about business processes. I understand that. I'm just see I'm already working on work day. So I'm that's what I just got. One we're stuck up. So I just and you're already showing the hiring proposal, right? So that's why I thought, like, let me ask this question. Yeah, we can include that, see. And one more part one wanted to ask. Yeah, as I, as you said, like it depends on its very company to company. Yeah, I agree. Please do like, share, and subscribe to our channel. For more information, contact us at sales at the rate